Hi guys, welcome back aboard Crossed Anchors Railroad. I pulled into Dells and I went in and I got permission to be able to do some recording and do a walk through the storm. I'm really excited about being able to do that. That's the first time I'm doing something like this. As well as here at Dells, we're in the Hampton Roads, Tidewater area of Southeast Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, huge military complex area, of course, largest military bases in the world are right here around us. However, comma, used to be 12 train stores in this whole area and Dells as you see you pan on over there for me Mike and Dells is the only one left but he's pretty damn big and with that Dell has everything from N scale all the way to G scale he has um, post-war pre-war the newest stuff he has toys, estate finds, and you're gonna see as we do this walkthrough, and hopefully uh, you guys enjoy being able to see here at Dell's. So here we go, safety first in today's world, and let's go check out Dell's trains. We just got to phase three here as, uh, here in Virginia, opening up retail, non-essential retail a little more. So everything's just started to open up this week and we have mandatory masks here in Virginia. Our governor was wise about that. And here we go. As you can see, here's the beginning. They're authorized dealers of all kinds of stuff. Their store hours are 10 to five, Wednesdays through Thursdays. And we're gonna go in and we'll go bit by bit and uh, see what's inside Dell. This conductor's always been greeting people since I've been coming here back in 2005 that I've been coming here. So here we go, let's walk down this way a little bit. This is the HO section. This quarter of the uh, store is his HO section. There's some pans through here. Oh wow, look at all these. He's got lots of cool stuff. Oh wow. I never really look at the HO stuff. Hmm. Here's the back side of the store. Line L layout. 027. Do not touch. Oh, Line L super super on track. Um, very good, sir. Um, I think I will take this one. Oh, wow. Um, this is pretty cool. I want and I may. I'm building a new Walking through here so you guys can see. Oh, wow. He buy, they buy a lot of estates and do a lot with that as well. It's new, as you can see. And they have a wide variety. It's so little. Little itty bitty. Now I believe we're going to get into the end scale section of the uh, layout. Ignore all the gorgeous line out boxes of the orange. We'll get there. Decato trash, turntables. As you can see, they keep a lot of inventory here. Something impressive. It drives. They do repairs here as well. The two guys that do repairs here have over 80 years experience between them. More on scale. 
Some more unscaled hair. Oh. oh, it's a 1958 original. Oh. It's definitely the old school O27. Nice con route. What is that? Uh, God, you guys are going to be mad at me that I can't name that engine. It's an SD. Not sure off the top of my head. Yeah, and you can see there's a lot of its main engines up there, the line rails. Ooh, look at that new F Master, FM Train Master. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to buy a train today. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wish Lionel sold a coal train or MTH did a whole thing in the box. It weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You got it. It's wonderful in here. Here's the main O section going down. We'll walk down this way first to go down the O scale this way. And you can see it's just walls of trains. We can duck over here if you'd like to get out of their way. Oh no, you're fine. Okay? You're fine. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, we're so just much. doing a walkthrough. We're just enjoying it. Oh, this is yeah. look, this has been a glorious place for decades. Yeah, and I've been here. Uh, yeah. yeah, 2005 was the first time I came here. There's nothing in Richmond anymore. Nothing. There's just what yeah, there's just that one north of there and he's a little bitty shop. And very high price. Yeah. Very high price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always got a nice DJ pulling up. Oh, I love the barber pole. That's old school. That's really neat. Test track for you. I'm really looking at that uh, GE hybrid up there that somehow has hooked me. It's got a Hey, GFW trains and everybody else who likes to post for stuff. Here's some stuff right here. I'm sure you're getting excited and loving this. Oh, what's this one? I have that. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, this price is single. Oh, wow, there's one of the old uh, coal loaders. Tons of track. You always got to have that. Remind me, I got to buy a couple pieces. <laughs> I need, there's a, a couple handfuls of little things. Ooh, Batman. Oh, cool. I love a train store when there's just so much to look at. And he's big enough where you can social distance. <laughs> Sensor track. Guys, I've seen a lot of prices and stuff, but here's something I'm just pointing out. Here's a line master Lionel Legacy here, Dale, the Denver Rio Grande, and it's a Legacy, six fifty. That's a pretty good price from what I've seen online. Dale has always had a packed place. This is pretty cool, all this scenery stuff. Be able to come here and check out that stuff. Now we're going to be around in this corner and you'll start to see some other different things, but we'll wind through like a snake here. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Looky here. Looky, looky, looky here. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just gorgeous though. Everybody knows I'm a PRR freak. Just a pretty Texas. Like where Hansel and Gretel get eaten or something. <laughs> <laughs> but he does a lot of collectible toys. Wait till you see some of the back rooms with the toys. They just out of this world. And they did open up. They've been closed for months. So they have been hit hard like every other retailer, you know, along those lines. I'm trying to like keep interesting to the camera, but myself as a shopper. <laughs> it's like. Ooh, looky what they got. Alco. Hmm. Tons of rolling stock. And they got a pretty wide variety of stuff. A lot of stuff that you post for, guys. I don't have any line scale yet. I've been thinking about trying some of them out. Because if I do, oh, look at that. Made in the USA. I recall some people challenging me that online that line scale was made in America. Hoo-ha. It's not all in China. Oh, nice. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, the tank. Yeah, yeah the Sherman tank. Really cool. Turbine missile. Hey. Ooh, look at this one. Come on down here, Mike. Here's a line L train one. I think these are made in Vietnam. I believe Eric's Trains did a review on these Lionel trains that come in these six packs like this. And this actually looks pretty cool. They actually look fairly scale. 120 bucks for all six. That's really not a horrible price for a set of uh, six decent looking flat cars. Marine flat cars. Navy. 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 Is this made in America? <laughs> made in the USA. Wow. Not China. you guys know you could spend hours looking ooh. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. I do yeah. spend hours, that's the problem. Yeah, right? It's a sickness. But I'm a bachelor, so <laughs> nobody can scream at me. <laughs> These though. Here we'll go down this side first and then we'll come back up this wall, but more of this stuff. I've bought and I filled up the back of my Escalade at least three times leaving this store. <laughs> Why not? God, it's almost torturous to bring yourself in. Oh, there's Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, wait. I'll get a copyright on 
like some old school K line. I watch a lot of you guys who like the post, uh, have been opening these and rather shocked by the K line cars and how nice they are. He's got a huge stack of these guys. If I didn't say, they're known for buying a lot of estates and get a lot of merchandise that way. And oh, here's more. Oh, look, the flash. Mm. What the flash? I do. Should be a cool train going around the lab. As a superhero. Do they have a superhero engine? I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. Frankly typing right now. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at those. That's pretty. Those are pretty. The California Zephyr K-Line. I don't have uh, much K-Line. And I've heard their passenger cars are just amazing. Here's a super O. That's a great, that's a great train set if you want something that post war throwback stuff right there. I have that one and it's all scale, just gorgeous stuff. The only thing I don't like about that one is it doesn't have Odyssey, but I bought an Odyssey board I'm gonna to try to put in it. I like that orange. Oh yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. That's definitely an all. You got a lot of you guys like the uh, six eleven. Oh, but it's a six twelve. I'm sure one of you guys can tell me uh, about that. That's uh, line L or what? But interesting. Here's a mess of cars. It's a nice die cast. Any Corvettes? Probably. There's always a Corvette. Oh, here's some nice. K oh, see, look at this K-Line O scale, fifteen bucks. Oh, That's nice. That's really not bad because usually these cars in O scale are twenty something. So definitely, definitely pretty cool. LGB, the big G stuff. Those are always cool. Oh wow, look, slot cars. My bad. American Flyer stuff back here. Totally awesome. Yeah. I mean, every time. It's your S gauge, American Flyer. Oh, wow. Look at that old thing. That's old school. That looks like something like to bring Frankenstein to life. Complete service manual. Yeah, I don't have any American flyer. Really cool stuff, though. You gotta work in selection. Now, looking down here, he's got quite the G scale. And stuff up there. So if you're interested in that, your holiday trains around the tree, your outside railroads, I've seen several of you guys. But we've got quite a selection dealing with all those. So that's cool. A cable car. Oh yeah, I've wanted one of those. That is really neat. I wish that was those scale though, but that's kind of cool. Take them up for the skiing or something. Pretty though. You just decided to do it at the bar. What <laughs> that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I need to put these around the bar, right? Pulling around. That's pretty though, that Amtrak. That's pretty. That's what I need more trains in a different size. Hmm. Oh, that's a cool one. It's Denver and Rio Grande. Oh, well, look at the shack. I don't even know they made all that. This here is a collection I was informed. It's the uh, Martin F. Tomey collection, a restoration collection. That Dell had completely redone and he's uh, selling this as one big chunk. But it's definitely, you know, some American pickers kind of toys. 
who they could find in a barn or something. But this stuff is just, he's had redone in uh, Buddy L trucks. Look at them, they are gorgeous. He had them redone really nice. I don't know what's in this. I'm half tempted to open it, but it's taped. Stuck it. Very cool. I like this guy. This thing is totally cool. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Right? They don't make toys like that anymore, do they? Nope. Nope. No. Train master control. I think Vanderbilt's pretty. I gotta buy some more of these. Oh no, MPH is going out of business. Oh wait, probably not. Little different division. New tooling on an engine? What? <laughs> and you're going out of business? Oh no. Here's some MPH stuff to have. Routing. Hmm. Oh wow, solar. Oh, Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, look, here's one of those, um, uh, Engineer James on Discord on the main line. I saw you messing with one of these Zeppelin cars. Oh, that's that, really cool. That looks to be pretty, uh, mint. And in pretty good shape. Look at the aquarium car. Yeah, those are really cool. They have them in all kinds of different things for them. But totally awesome. Yeah, I'd like to have a couple of upgrades. I have this thing. It's really cool. If you guys want a neat piece on your layout, that uh, tin piece factory is just, it's really pretty. It's actually got people in it. It lights up. Yeah, that's a cool one, I think. Oh, earlier inspection cars. Oh, here's a little, uh, they have some military mili uh, memorabilia. And uh, they were informing me they only have so much out at a time, but they have uh, stacks of this stuff. More electrocouplers down there. Okay. Cool, cool. Hey, hey, there's a couple of you guys I know that like Hot Wheels. Look at these collections. Oh, wow, look at this. There's a couple of you guys that I know off the uh, Discord channel, GFW Trains. Your buddy Matt just popped in my head. <laughs> Stacks of them. Some NTH drill tracks. Is that a bridge? Yeah, 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 yeah. Covered bridge. Hmm. Oh, cool, the cell tower. This is their area of what they got, uh, their building. Yeah, I have that. That's a really cool piece. If you, you want a nice piece of action on your layout, the bass scale bridge is really cool. Wires up easily. Fits in the command control really easily. Not too bad. What is this? What is this? What is this interesting thing I've never seen before? <sighs> bum, bum, bum. It's a whole scrapyard. 
Work Crew People Pack, Work House, Yard Light 3 Pack. I didn't even know they did this. I never even... That's pretty cool. Yeah, right? That's really neat. You think you pay attention to things and there's always something new. Some cool souvenirs. Oh, there's that hobo guy. The Industrial Railroad did some cool work on his Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad. Shout out to you, Nick. You did some nice work. You changed a few of the LEDs in yours, making it more realistic. Up here. We're not allowed up there, it's still closed, but there's the uh, the local low scale club up there and they have a 2,000 square foot layout up there. Here back here, goes into, this is a lot of estate stuff and toys, as I was told, that range from $5 to $5,000, depending what happens to be in here. Different pieces, there's a lot to see. Oh wow, a die cast of patching. That's wicked. Mm. And the MP MTH. I ain't bad. Scout. It's a nice place to come get started in the hobby as well. You see, they got tons of train sets to begin with. Well, Lionel Boy set. There you go. If any of you guys are old enough to remember when Johnny Cash was the uh, spokesman, every American boy needs a Lionel train. Now, I know some of you remember that. Don't act like you don't. Polo Express, of course. Yeah, these trying these. This back here has grown since the last time we were in here, huh? Yeah. Lots more stuff going on. A uh, lot. Wow. Balance train. You got tons of sets back here. Oh wow, an American Flyer circus train. I mean, I'm no expert by any means, but I, I've never, I never saw that before. Yeah, there's probably not another train store for over a hundred miles up here. At least a hundred miles. Used to be more, but they all closed. What railroad is that? Southern? That looks like a nice glass to have a cocktail in. Look ahead, look south. Yeah, that's gotta be Southern. Look south, 90 bucks. Look at that yep. one. Oh, Broadway Limited. Giggity. That's my stick. Leader of the Pennsylvania fleet of modern high-speed trains operating daily. Of course it is. That's the Broadway Limited. Hmm. That's a nice guy up there. Oh, check out the Harley. Double door box gun. Mm. Laser 
train. Oh, cool. Look at this. Oh, look at the Corvette. Oh, there you go. Gotta love a Corvette. They don't have ours, though, do they? Well, that's a C5 right there. Oh. I'm blind. Oh, those are nice. What is this weird thing? New York Central Railroad. It's like a fire extinguisher. Brass fire extinguisher. That's cool. To operate, can you get the operating instructions? That's really cool. As you can see, he does have, they have quite a variety of things for the discerning collector. Look at my James Bond. With the James Bond cars in it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's 28 bucks. I might buy that. I might buy that. Da 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 It's got some interesting, interesting things. Hmm. Oh, is this all the presidents? By Marx. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. You guys, I know there's several of you collecting the Lionel presidential boxcars. There's an interesting thing. Mark's toys, huh? One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, there's a Texas special. I know a couple of you guys like the Texas special. Kind of Fridays. Oh, here's some really nice post war pieces up in here. Oh, it's the old congressional. Nice. That Rio Grande's pretty. Station. Lots of post war engines. There's old B6 switchers, aren't they? Look at that, they got the, uh, the pretty jeweled lights. Those seem to be fairly intact. this fire truck is the ladder company oh wow 475 dollars oh, they definitely got some detail on it oh, there's some cool pieces More hey, did you ever see a model of titanic like that no never no <laughs> <laughs> yeah very cool I guess that's why I come back to this place. There's always new things. Always very cool. Oh, there's a Harley clock. Oh, these are cool for, uh, there's a gentleman in this area who does a lot of loads on the flat cars and disassembles a lot of the uh, die cast stuff like this. I'm sure you guys have seen him. That's old school. The Union Pacific. I'm not sure what that one's called. It's not the Zephyr. And I'm going to guess that's uh, pre-war. Don't hold me to it, but... 
It very well probably is. Really some cool, cool stuff that have going on in here. Oh, there's a nice train mask there. Oh. Oh, look at that bipolar. The gut looks like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. B E A beautiful. <laughs> Right? Zombie Apocalypse. The army. We're in the army now. Frisco. We've got some cool pieces in here if you're into the, uh, the post-war stuff and the earlier pieces. Oh, here you go. On the live stream the other day, GFW, they were all into the F3s and which one was what and what and those guys. That's a pretty, that's a pretty set of them right there. Looking at those guys. Some more uh, military. -a. That's a cool piece. That car. Yeah, it is pretty. Interesting. We've got some cartoon things. The famous Hess truck. I gotta pile those under the table. I'll have to show you guys. Let's see. Let's go down this side first. Okay. Lost the post war. Oh, there's more of them. Look at them down there. There you go. Well, I like that log cabin. Where's the log cabin? Behind you. Behind you. On the table. Oh. Interesting. This is a neat piece. Looks heavy. It's got some weight on it. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder if this was sitting in someone's attic. You see the mud and dauber nest up in there? To it. But it probably still turns right on. Like a champ. But it does have some weight to it. Zephyr American, Zephyr American, uh, American Flyer. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. That standard gauge. It's just stacks of stuff. Oh, here's a one of those aquarium cards, but for Halloween. Mm. Well, I like that truck. That one? Mm -hmm. It looks like a fire thing. Yeah, fire company. Oh, wow. I remember flying with something like this at my grandmother's. With the wooden wheels. Goodness. Goodness. There you go, Barbie. Hmm. Hmm. 
Y'all have seen those running on my layout. If you get there, they're, 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 they're some of the best engines I've ever had. You know, they're TMCC and have Odyssey, but they're just beasts. Just beast. They're just lovely. That's not a bad price on them at all. Shark noses. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that's awesome. I would so ride around on that even today. <laughs> how, how cool is that? How cool is that? Hey, TCA. I joined the TCA, but there's no TCA here. I was told they haven't had a meeting in years. Just saying. Might need to make your own chapter. Yeah. This came out of a train station around here. They always told me that one time. Came out of one of the old stations. Ooh, Chicago Elton. Oh, those are pretty Southerns. Greater realism made in Japan. Those are some pretty cool eyes. That's not a bad deal in those CXX cars. Brand new six car set 275. That's not bad for Lionel at all. Wow. These are SW2s, I think. Don't bite my head off, guys. But definitely some... I don't know. Do you think that would work on Fast Fridays? Mm. Oh, this is old school. For the big size G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the Arctic gear. Ah, that's crazy. Wow. They haven't made that G.I. Joe in a hot minute. Oh, look at Congressional. Oh, that's a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff. Wow. Here's some gorgeous Hutchins. Are they seven? Yeah, here's a seven seven three. That one right there. With tender. The six eleven look nice. And a seven forty five. Seven forty five. My bad, not a six eleven. Star Trek. Ooh, I always like that lightsaber car. Oh yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like all the colors. Mm -hmm. It's like a pack of lifesavers. Cool, cool. Back here in this room. So, uh, as you see, guys, here at Dale's train station, they have a wide swath of stuff. Not only for the train person, but a discerning tr uh, toy collector of all kinds. A lot of that always runs, I think, across us type of people and collections and stuff like that i'm going to pause this right here because we're going to go out and see if we can get the uh train layout back on and uh see if they'll turn it on and run it a bit for us so we can see their train layout in action here at dells thank you we'll uh see you here in a little bit Hey guys, Crossed Anchors here just popping in to say hope you're enjoying the video so far. Smash that like button, subscribe, and remember all the all of Dale's information is down below. Email, Instagram, and Facebook. Tell them Crossed Anchors sent you when you order that next train. Back here again. Now we're out front, back by their main lab. We're going to walk around. Um, 
and they just got it turned on for us to be able to see. So let's walk over this way, Mike. You post more guys should love this. If you remember from a little earlier, this is an original 1958 layout. Totally awesome. Yeah, right? Up this goes. Conrail, Christmas Express. All the nice post war accessories they have, the gantry crane, the barrel loader. Something smoking. That post war smell. Get some help for this one. <laughs> oh, look at all these out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's your channel called? Uh, Cross Tankers Railroads. Oh, sick. Thanks, man. Check us out. What skill do you guys do? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's out of mine. What'd you say? That's out of my thing. I do HO. Oh, okay. They do a 
a big hit on the engines they got up there. Okay. A lot of you guys love the train masters. Vila. Hey guys, Crossed Anchors here just popping in to say hope you're enjoying the video so far. Smash that like button, subscribe, and remember all the all of Dale's information is down below. Email, Instagram, and Facebook. Tell them Crossed Anchors sent you when you order that next train. Hey guys, Brian here with Crossed Anchors Railroad. We're getting here to check out, so I even I couldn't help myself. So we are getting ready to go and we'll do a unboxing when we get home and do that video as well to see what we got from here and get into detail with it but got a couple of neat different pieces that i don't have and matching one of the engines i have of course the uh, uh veteran heritage unit and then the tank was cool but of course it's on a pennsylvania flat car so i gotta let my prr freak flag fly love my Southern Railroad as well. Their throwback looks great. And I got some superhero stuff I've never had before. So Mike wanted the superhero stuff, so we're gonna see how that one works out as well and a couple pieces of track. We'll see you guys back home, all right? Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. See ya. All right, guys, Cross Anchors here again. I really hope you enjoyed that video as much as we did here at Cross Anchors Railroads making it for you. Again, thanks a million to the ownership the family ownership and the management there at Dell's Train Store it was amazing. Remember, their email, Instagram, and Facebook is down below. Tell them Cross Tankers Railroad sent you when you order your next model train. You guys saw the haul that we got there. We're putting out videos this week about reviews about everything that we got there, as well as an independent video on the, the 1958 amazing layout that they had there, a short little thing on that as well as we're gonna have some train, some great running of trains with the stuff that we got, adding it in. Hope to see you again very soon, enjoy.